Hi and welcome back to my channel. This is our little doggo Pickle. He's enjoying the sun. We've just been for a walk. We've seen one of his friends, Bell, and he's had a gallivant around. And now he'll sit here in the sun and he'll sleep for quite a while. <laughs> oh, he's a good doggo. And yeah. Hey. <laughs> All right, so back to our channel. This is my little craft space. I cleaned it all up yesterday, which I'm so happy with. I've got some books up there. Um, Dave put these awesome lights up for me. I've got some machines there, printer, um, paints, some sewing stuff in there. Um, there's Jeanette's beautiful book. I've got all my bits and pieces in these little sewing baskets. Um, all my threads that I um, do up the journals with. Um, I've got cottons, um, not cottons, <laughs> laces and stuff like that. Um, up in there I've got my um, inks and reinkers and stuff like that. This is my desk. And I'm just about to do a video for you. Um, over here I've got um, 12 by 12 papers and that's all full of envelopes and pattern, pattern papers, other papers. Um, in that box at the back there I've got all sorts of papers for journal making. That's all my scrap paper. I've got some dies and I got dug into the um, storage bay and got all my emboss folder so I've got to emboss something now I've got um, stamps back there and I've, I have got a trolley which has got bits and pieces on it <laughs> sorry oh, that's this week's thrifty Thursday <laughs> that I found um, I won't show you behind me I've got a few books behind me too I've got some books under here as well so but anyway this is our um, make for today and it's part five. I'll just jiggle you into my, um, my, um, my um, what do you call it, connector thing that sits there. I've just got a, um, a selfie stick and it sits above the table. All right, so I've got it all spread out here. These are the signatures. So um, if you're new here, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. Um, excuse the leaf blower but there's been so many leaves fall here and I can't get a day where they're not blowing the leaves so I might as well just talk over the top of it okay the last few episodes remember we've done the front covers got bits on the front cover we've done the inside cover now I just put an extra picture in here that's a beautiful picture that out of a book and there was two sides, so I didn't want to cover up that side, so I just put it in like that. I might even put something else in there, yeah? So that's all done, remember? All right. Now, I've got all the papers out for my signature. And what I do, signatures, is I lie them down in the groups that they are. So if I want two signatures, two um, bits of paper in there, I'll put... Because I've got three signatures, so I only want one of each of these and some of them have got six in there so so what i would just do is i randomly very randomly just start putting them together so i might i might use that as a front one and then i just go around and collect them start collect, collecting um papers and just um and I just keep in mind what I might like to put in the centres because I have got some different ones there that will go in the centre. I can open this up. And um, so I'm just going to keep um, pay attention to what I've put in there because um, I don't want to put more of that in. And that's what I do. I just go, I mean, it's no rhyme or reason to putting your signatures in. They just 
Hope you need some help. I was even gonna go and see if I could find a piece of um uh what do you call it? Paper bark. I still might yet. And put it in here. I've got all sorts of pages to put in. And we'll put a yellow one in. Put a yellow and green one in together in this one. Yeah. This one came out of a um, motor vehicle log. I thought that was cool. I could use that. Um, what else we got? Oh, these. One of these. They come open. I've had them sitting, sitting under a pile of books. We've got some paper doily. I think these ones are doilies too. Yeah, they're printables. Oh, and I um, have to tell you that I got a new computer. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Dave came home with it from work and surprised me with it. He's such a sweetheart. Oh, I'm just so happy. <laughs> so what I have to do now, I've sort of set it up, but I've got to do a few other things on it to set it up for the, comp uh, the internet. So... Oh, why weren't you open? Alright. I've got a little doily here too. Um, what haven't I put in now? Put one of these in. Yeah, I must have. One of these. Did I put one of them in? Trying to mix them up a little, and I'll put one of these in. Why are every page is stuck together? Now, yeah, what else haven't I got in? I've got two of them. One of these. One, I didn't want to cut it down, it'll come out of a square book, so I've just folded it in an odd shape. Like that, and then what else have I got? I might put that one in as my middle on that one. I've got a few different middle ones. Oh no. And Yeah. Put that one in. And then which one did I have for my middle? I think that was the middle. Anyway, so that's one. That's one, and then you go ahead and you do the same for the next ones. And you can just just do them in a random order they don't have to be the same as the last one um did i put one of them oh i didn't put one of them in the last one how cute is that how cute is that 
Oh, I didn't want to. That's going to cover both of them up, isn't it? Oh, no. Oh, that'll be all right. So you're getting a good listen to our leaf while. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, Pickle had a... He had a big walk today and played with Belle. It's another dog that we meet up with every now and then. He likes doing that. So. This is a bit boring, this part of it, isn't it? It's one of my coffee dyed papers. That was done with the, um, tablecloth these are pretty um, right what haven't I put in I like to put lots of um, writing space in my journals, so, because that's what they're about, aren't they, really? Like, you've got nowhere to write, what's the point? One of my digital doilies. paper oh, what haven't I put in it's a cute one mm. let's see what I haven't put in here yet That's a beautiful um, wattle print. Oops, that was um, came out of some scrapbooking. So that's two. Then I start the next one. Oh, not that page. I must be putting two each in of them. All right. So thanks for all your comments and your feedback um, on this journal. Really appreciate it. Um, I'm really enjoying it. So the whole process. 
It's um you a little look into my head. <laughs> That's a bit scary, isn't it? Yeah. Some tea dyed paper. Some piano roll. Yeah, and these aren't in any any order or anything so just how they're getting picked up so yeah I spent all day yesterday in here oh just sorting stuff out and um yeah, one lady said to me, oh, it's good to see, you know, things that I've got in my thrifty hauls being used in the video. Which is, um, that's been my whole intention all along is to, you know, add them in, so. Let's just get a bit, um, sometimes I'm just really busy, I get... Yeah, um, I have Asha, and oh, now something else has started up. There's so much noise here. Oh, yeah, so yeah, sometimes I just get so busy with Asha and um, just helping Matt out. But that's good. I really enjoy going around and just being a part of their lives. Um. Yeah, I've still got some more of these. Oh, they'd have to go in the other one. So, whatever I've got left over needs to, needs to go in. I think, um, I think, Amanda, you're going to have enough writing space in this thing. <laughs> That's the lady who's um, buying this. Alright, so I've got three here. One, they some feel a bit fatter than the other. So I'll just put other pages in where they'll fit. Oh, you've got some colouring pictures in here too. That'll be cool. I didn't want to bore you with um, right down to the process of tearing them out of books like that's just uh, you turn off real quick <laughs> so you've got to have a little bit prepared can't do everything on the fly um, So I picked some green and yellow um, papers in here too, just to tie in with that wattle theme. That's a beautiful start page. It did have a little bit of scribble on it, which I managed to get most of it off. So okay, so I need to put some more. That's another tea dyed um, paper that I did. That in. Mm. 
they might they might go away in a minute. <laughs> Goodness, what are they doing out there? Oh, didn't think the grass was that long. It's been that cold. Oh, I think there's um there's new owners in the park and they've been trying to trying to improve it and hopefully they don't kick all the long termers out. <laughs> Alright, where did these two come from? Alright, we need another one of these in here. Gosh, they are noisy. Up one in there. What have we got in the middle? Oh, we got one in the middle of that. We got two of these. Oh, I might put that in here. Put that in the middle. Right, and when you've used up all our papers. So that's the thickness of um, when you do a junk journal, you've got to just keep in mind the thickness like that you've made it obviously and then um, the thickness in comparison to how many pages you're going to put in as well. Now um, like I said at the beginning, you know, they're just the pages and then once I start putting journal cards in that's going to all add to the thickness as well journal cards if i put um um what do you call it ribbons anything will add to the thickness of this journal so you've got to give yourself a little bit of space for it to grow and that's probably in the past has been my downfall um i haven't put the that space in there for it to grow i did I have got some fabric I'm gonna put a couple of fabric pages in and then I've also got envelopes so we may put some of them on the um, page edges um, don't know whether I've got oh uh, hang on in my big box of envelopes I do have some pick three of these out and maybe three of these what do you reckon um, no I usually put these white ones in um, well these ones are nice so I went through all my stuff. I just put every envelope I owned in that, except that big box of ones that I ordered. They'll go. I put some in there, and they'll go in the. They'll go in the storage bay. So, I guess just pick a random spot to put this fabric. And then these envelopes. Um, oh, hang on, I'll put the other fabric here. Um, so, did you all vote? <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> oh, I'm just glad it's all done. Over and done with. Get sick of looking at it.
All right, um, we got to talk to our son um, last night in Moscow. He's going good. We video chat once a week. So, all right, so these ones here, I'm going to. Um, just close them up. Put a bit more. And I'll do the same to these ones, just close them up. made a big mess and then um, I'll fold them in half see that's going to add some more bulk to that too and then just cut the cut the ends off like that so now they're open and they'll be little pockets and then I'm just going to um, put one of these little half circles on so Keep an eye on the time too. Like All right, so I'll put them in. I need to. And then fold these ones in half as well. They sit like this is one these ones we can add pockets in another direction like up the top like that now be top pockets And then we can add them into each signature. And a little pocket here.
All right, so we've got our three signatures um, bundled up together. So I'm gonna go now. That's it's only a quick video today. Um, and when I come back for part uh, six, this is part five, um, I'll have them all ready to sew in. So I'll go ahead and I'll, what I'll do is I'll just go through each page, straighten it up, make sure it's where I want, each page is where I want it. And then I'll put a clamp on and make sure that they're all in the right spot for me to sew in. Now, also in the past, I've sewn them in like this and then gone ahead and decorated. Um, and I think it was one book. I think it might have been the um, the grungy journal. I did it. Uh, I didn't sew them in first. I decorated it all first, and um, that took me quite a while to do. So um, I'm not going to actually do that. I'm going to sew these in first and decorate last. And um, yeah, and then uh, then our um, our part different parts from there will be decorating pages right so join with me back um, for part six where I show you how I sew in the pages and um, we'll go from there right I hope you've enjoyed this and um, like and share and um, I hope you're well and you're having a good day and enjoy the rest of it oh there the leaf blower goes off when I'm ready to finish. Alright, I'll see you soon for the next part. Bye.